Hello, my name is Christy Klein. I'm the nursing supervisor in radiation oncology at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today, I'm going to discuss with you the skincare recommendations for individuals who are receiving radiation therapy to the breast or chest wall. When receiving radiation therapy to the breast or chest wall, the treatment field may also encompass the upper chest, underarm, and upper back in addition to the breast or chest wall. This is something that you should review with your radiation oncology healthcare provider. Skin changes, most often erythema or redness of the skin, may begin to develop as soon as the second week of radiation therapy. It is most common though that this is more evident by the third or fourth week of radiation therapy. It is common during radiation therapy that your skin may become red, dry, or itchy. It may feel warm or sunburned. Some individuals may also notice that they may see some intermittent or transient redness or erythema within the first few radiation treatments. There are some simple measures that you can do to care for your skin while receiving radiation therapy. You should avoid tight fitting and heavy clothing. Underwire bras or breast prosthesis may cause additional irritation. Loose cotton clothing or undergarments are preferred. Avoid shaving the underarm area while receiving radiation therapy as this may cause increased friction. You should use a mild soap to cleanse the area daily. Please avoid the use of powders in the underarm area or under the breast fold. Avoid extreme temperatures such as heating pads or cold ice packs as this may cause some thermal injury to the area both during radiation therapy and after the completion of radiation therapy. You should avoid swimming in chlorinated pools or the use of hot tubs while receiving radiation therapy and until the skin heals. Also avoid swimming in lakes or rivers as this can cause infection until the skin is well healed. You may wish to sit in front of a fan with the breast or chest wall exposed for 10 minutes a few times a day. This can help alleviate some of that warming sensation that may occur. Please discuss with your healthcare provider while you're receiving radiation therapy if you may use deodorant in the underarm that is within the treatment field. Once you begin radiation therapy, you should begin to apply a unscented moisturizing lotion to the skin within the treatment field at least twice daily. You may also use aloe vera if you notice that there is a warming sensation to help alleviate this. Aloe vera will not moisturize the skin, so you must continue to use a moisturizing lotion as well. Also, if you start to notice any itching of the skin, you may use an over-the-counter 1% hydrocortisone cream to the areas that you are experiencing itching. The hydrocortisone cream as well will not moisturize, so please continue to use your moisturizing lotion at least twice daily in addition to the hydrocortisone cream. If you begin to notice some brisk redness with discomfort of the skin within the radiation treatment field, you may wish to switch from a moisturizing lotion to Aquaphor, a healing ointment. This may be used at least twice daily or more often as needed for comfort. It is common that you may begin to notice some peeling of the skin within the radiation treatment field. This can occur in the final weeks of treatment or up to the two weeks following radiation therapy. Your skin may continue to redden or darken up to two weeks following the completion of radiation therapy. Your skin also may be more sensitive for up to four weeks after the completion of radiation therapy. It is important to know that any of the hair within the radiation treatment field area may not regrow. While you are receiving radiation therapy, you will be seen by a member of the healthcare team at least once a week during your treatments. These visits are an excellent time to discuss with your radiation provider any questions regarding skin care. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information, please visit the link below.